Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess a bit of a disappointing season when you look at the results. I think we all came in wanting to win more games than we did. So, um, you know, I think we all personally can give a little bit more, myself included. Um, you know, I wasn't really too happy with how I played in the first, especially first half of the season. Um, you know, I think I made a little bit of, of, of steps in the right direction uh, towards the last few months of the year. Um, played some decent hockey. Um, but that being said, I think there's always room to grow and, and uh, give more for the team. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm just looking forward to putting in some work in the off season, taking a little bit of time off and then getting back to it and coming back to Seattle and, uh, you know, winning some more games next, uh, next season. Yeah, I think that, that, that trajectory is kind of the same trajectory the team took. And a lot of fans might not know, but that, you know, goal playing goalie is all a team game too. So. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, it's it's tough. There's a lot of things that are in our control as a goalie, and there's a lot of things that are out of our control. So, um, you know, it's kind of a balancing act, you know, making sure you focus your resources and, you know, mental energy on the ones that you can control. So um, I think there's definitely, um, you know, areas in my game where, you know, if I maybe handled the things under my control a bit better, then we would have maybe won some more games and made some more saves. So I'm going to go into the offseason, look to do that, and, and come back uh, improved and you know ready to win. Given the way that that rotation went, how did you change your routine, maybe your habits this year to kind of accommodate that schedule? Um, yeah, do you mean the rotation with me and Philip, or yeah. do you mean, OK, yeah. So uh, yeah, so me and Phil had a good, great relationship. Uh, you know, it was it was nice to you know see how he went about his business. He's obviously, you know, um, you know, a, a really accomplished and and uh, successful goalie in this league. So, um, yeah, it was uh, you know I didn't really, to be honest, play that a whole bunch uh, a whole bunch in the first maybe two three months of the season. Uh, started to get a little bit more of a workload in the second half for sure. So um, first half it was kind of just trying to stay sharp in practice. Tough to. Tough to really stay in game shape when you're not playing a whole lot. Uh, a couple injuries um, kept me out for a short period of time too, which didn't really help things. Um, but yeah, going into the second half, I think that's what what I'm trying to build off of, and and uh, it was a little bit more, I mean, more of a rotation and a little bit easier to find a rhythm. You go in, play a good game, they they put you out again. Um, you know, you win, you keep playing, kind of thing. So it's it's fun, and I think there's a little bit of a healthy competition, which was which was good for both of us. How much did that set you back? I mean, you get injured in your first game this year. Yeah. COVID and maybe just other things that you can't control. Yeah, yeah, that was tough. Uh, yeah, getting hurt in the first one was, and, and it was just a real minor injury, but still can't play for a few games and just kind of, you know, our preseason didn't really go great. It, it would have been nice to get out there and feel good and and uh, have some confidence, but that wasn't the case. And, uh, you know, probably could have maybe gotten my you know game under me a little bit sooner but had a couple of hiccups there with the injuries got covid um and it just took a little bit longer than i would have liked to get into rhythm so um you know in the off season i'll be focused on you know coming into camp and and just being 100 percent ready to go and and uh you know try and hit the ground running what would you say about andrew allen as a goalie coach you know we don't get to see too much of that since we don't get to talk to him like we you know, do with Dave. Yeah, Andrew's been great. I mean, we've uh, gotten to know each other throughout the season. Um, you know, it's uh, it's always you know a learning curve when you have a new goalie coach. You got to get to know each other. See, you know, he's got to know what we want to do in practice, and you know, vice versa, and, and just kind of fill each other out. So there was definitely a, a a point going through that. We had a lot of good conversations throughout the year, um, and you know, towards the second half of the year, I would say as well. At least for me, I can't really speak for Phil, but um, you know, we had a good communication and a good dialogue of. Things that worked for me, things that didn't work for me, when to push harder in practice, when to you know take more rest, and uh, things like that. So, looking looking forward to uh, you know continuing that next season. Nine months, nine months here in Seattle, a little bit of a different vibe than South Florida. Anything <laughs> you've learned? Different places to eat? Uh, yeah, I need more jackets here for sure than <laughs> Seattle rain jackets uh, in the winter. But no, it's. Uh, yeah, it was an adjustment. It's uh, but it's exciting. I mean, I love the mountains. Um, I spent uh, my junior, the majority of my uh, junior career in in Calgary, with you know just an hour from the Rockies. So, um, you know, we'd have a day off in junior, and I'd go up in in the mountains and hike, and um, you know that's where I you know feel good, and I kind of did the same thing here. So it's been nice, and and uh, the city's been very welcoming, and uh, you know it's a beautiful city, beautiful. Um, you know, area in the world. So it's been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to getting to know the city uh, even more. Chris, when we talk to athletes, we talk so much about the 
body, but we don't always give enough credit to the mind. And it was really awesome to hear you share that you worked on that to improve your game this season. What will you continue to do both physically and mentally to prepare for next year? Yeah, I mean, uh, especially in, in my position, it's you know quite a bit of a mental game. You need to keep your confidence regardless of how things are going, which, you know, in a season like we had is can be difficult at times. So, um, yeah, like you said, it was it was a, a important for me to just maybe get a different opinion. And uh, and so I went and got one and I, I think it helped a lot. Um, you know, I, I noticed a, a significant, you know, improvement in my game since, um, you know, I talked to her. So it was uh, it was definitely a, a positive and. Um, you know, as uh, in regards to the off season, I'll probably take a little bit of a breather, and then um, you know, might start talking uh, with her again. You know, t towards the start of the season, and, and kind of pick pick back up where we left off. In your experience, is it like physical work as well, where it's reps and learning techniques, or what are the tools that you like to use? Yeah, um, that's a great question. So, what we kind of focused on, and um, you know, she's got a lot of different tools, but kind of what we focused on was just where my head was at during the game and leading up to the game and what I was noticing and, and where I was, you know, monitoring stress levels is a big one. Um, you know, as a goalie, I like to play pretty calm and, and um, you know, I find I'm my best when, you know, I see the play happening quickly in front of me, but I stay, you know, relaxed and um, sharp in the net. So um, with that being said, I, you know, sometimes you get a little bit too ramp, like amped up and you know you start to move a little bit too quick with the game around you so um one thing that she mentioned was like just check in check in with yourself and um get back to where you need to be mentally it's, um you know stress levels wise wise and if you need to breathe and, and get back there then that's kind of a tool that we that we used and uh, i think it worked great so that was just one uh one example but um just kind of things like that checking in uh, just little reminders throughout the game that kind of go away, go a long ways, and just hone in your focus. I think there's a general theme here these last couple of days about optimism based on the second half of the last month. Is, are you are you feeling that way both personally and as the team goes that the way you guys finished could can bleed into next year? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you know, at least in, it seemed from my perspective that we um, you know kind of bought into the system a little bit more. We were um, you know playing a little bit more soundly as a group, I think, and that goes a long way. So um, there's definitely positives. I think we, we meshed as a, as a team pretty well. Um, you know, we beat some decent teams in the process too. So I think we have to just you know, look to that, like you said, and, and build off that going into next season. And do you have a couple of high, high favorite moments from the season? Was it the win in Florida or the shutout at home the last time? Uh, both of those are definitely <laughs> highlights. Um, the win in Florida was pretty special. Um, you know, it's, it, it was a lot of fun going into that building and, and being those guys. And they're, uh, they're a pretty good team, too. So it, it was uh, felt even better. So that was good. And, and the shout out on home ice, obviously, was really special and, and a nice way to send it off, uh, you know, at the Climate Pledge for our last home game of the year. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris.